Hey guys, welcome back to the MBTX Living Channel. My name is Chase Bradley. I'm Veronica Bradley. And today we're talking about Green, Texas. Did you know that Green is one of the hardest Texas cities to pronounce? Green? 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 Greeny? Really? I always just think Green. Green, Texas is an enchanting and historic town located in the heart of the Texas Hill Country. Green is a historic district located in New Braunfels and it's known for its rich history, lively music scene, and breathtaking natural beauty. One of the most popular attractions in Green, Texas is Green Hall. Green Hall is the longest continually operating dance hall in the state of Texas. It's a beloved local attraction that has been a gathering place for music lovers since 1878. Over the years, Green Hall has hosted some of the biggest names in country music. Yeah, including my favorites, George Strait and Willie Nelson. Today, the dance hall continues to attract top-notch musical talent, and visitors can catch live music shows most nights of the week. So y'all, you never know the next time you go to the Green Dance Hall and the next person that you see, that might be the next country music superstar. If you're not into the country music scene, Green also has the Guadalupe River, which runs right through the heart of Green. The crystal clear waters of the river are perfect for swimming, tubing, kayaking, and fly fishing. And visitors can rent equipment from one of the many local outfitters. I really like getting aerial photos and videos of green, especially during the fall. I feel like it's one of the few places where you actually get to see fall colors like reds, oranges, yellows, different things like that in the trees. It's just everywhere else, the leaves just fall off and die. But for some reason in green, it actually looks like fall then. And no visit to green would be complete without a stroll. And we do mean stroll. Parking can be at a premium sometime in green, especially during peak hours through the town's historic district. Here, visitors can explore a variety of charming shops, boutiques, and restaurants housed in beautifully restored 19th century buildings. Some of the staple restaurants are Green River Grill, Grist Mill, and Mosey's. Each one offers a variety of local flavors and excellent views. Yeah, and I personally love the historic feel of Green. I mean, when I go to Green's, I really feel like I'm in a Hallmark movie, especially around the holidays. Um, I love shopping on all the places, eating at all the places, and just even sitting by the river. Sometimes I go, go down to the river and just sit there and listen to the water flow. It's so peaceful. So if you like shopping in green, there are a lot of different options, a lot of things that you can get. And one of our, well, my favorite places is Barbell's Boutique. It's, you can get athletic wear type clothes. You can even dress it up casually. They have so many earrings, hair clips, like the cutest little, uh, if you're looking for a gift for a friend or a family member during holiday stocking stuffers, holiday shopping, I go there quite often. And everything that I've bought from there, it lasts, it doesn't break. Um, the clothes, I wear them all the time. I don't work out as much as I should, but I, I mean, I just love to, like to lounge in them. So you can really have like the casual look, the workout look, um, you can dress it up. They sell blazers there too. It's a really cute boutique. And right next to Barbell's Boutique, there's the Fickle Pickle. If you like pickles, I like pickles. They have an awesome pickle there. It's sweet and spicy, really just goes, compliments everything, honestly. And right next to Fickle Pickle is Green Coffee House and they have amazing coffee there, um, cold brews, hot brews, frappuccinos, which I know that's like a Starbucks name, but like you get my, you get my drift, right? Um, great coffee, great hangout place. There's a little patio outside of it. So you can take your laptop there, work, get Wi-Fi. I mean, it's just a great place. And diagonal from those buildings, it's a there's a place called Red and Green. And when I tell y'all, Green is like a Hallmark movie. You literally go into this place. It's like Christmas all year round. Um, hence, Red and Green. <laughs> and people go there and, and buy all year round. It's the cutest things you can find. Things like dachshund ornaments, or if you you know whatever your your favorite breed is or whatnot. I'm on a hunt for a bearded dragon ornament since we have a new family member. So whether you're looking for a you know one of a kind souvenir or just an awesome place to eat, you're sure to find that in Green, Texas. If you go to their website and you check out 
their map, you'll be able to kind of plan out your trip a little bit better. And if you don't do that, there's even maps in green that kind of show you where a lot of the businesses are. And no, Tourist Paradise will be complete without local landmarks. Famous local landmarks like the largest pecan in Seguin, the Tower of America is in San Antonio, are all over Texas. And in green, you have the Green Water Tower that serves as a symbol of the town's rich history and enduring spirit. Originally built in 1895, the water tower has been lovingly restored and now stands as a testament to Green's past and its bright future. Honestly, I think the Green Dance Hall is more of a landmark when I think of Green, but I also think of the dance hall and the water tower too. Yeah, definitely. But really, Green is like a landmark for New Braunfels. So it's like the tower is a landmark within a landmark. It's like landmark inception. <laughs> Whether you're a history buff, a music lover, or simply looking for a picturesque small town to explore, Green has something for everyone. We gave you a brief glimpse into what makes Green, Texas such an awesome place to visit. But check out next week's video where we talk to you about some reasons why you might not want to go to Green. And I don't know why that he's saying that, but apparently he has some reason. <laughs> all right, guys, if you really like this video, make sure you subscribe, do all the normal YouTube things. But if you really like this area, and you're thinking about moving here. Y'all, you need to give us a call. Call us, text us, email us. We answer the phones all the time, whether if you're looking to move to beautiful green, New Braunfels, San Marcos, um, San Antonio, we are the people to help you out. So give us a call. That's right. Until next time. Bye. Bye.